Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are um, looking at uh, tile patterns and determining what the, the figures on either side of the pattern would be, as well as kind of coming up with a plan of figuring out how many tiles are in uh, a later figure. So this is a problem from CPM's uh, course three, and this is uh, section uh, 6.1.2, specifically number 6 uh, 16. So it says, examine the tile pattern shown at the right. And then on graph paper, draw figure zero and four. So I've got graph paper here to do the little squares if you want, or, or you can draw them uh, elsewhere. So how, how do we figure this out? How do I determine what figure four, let's go there, would look like, or and then also figure zero. So I might examine the the, the figure and see what's happening. Right, if I look to see what's happening with this figure, the first thing I see is this middle piece. I'm, I'm looking at that, and I see in figure one here, there's two in the center row, then there's three in the center row, and then there's four in that center row. So it looks as though it just continues to go by one, right? So if I want to do figure four, I'm going to use my little tiles here. I need, let's see, so there's one, two, three, four in figure three. So I need one, one, two, three, four, five in figure four, right? So that center will have four for figure four. And then the other pieces, now we look at um, the top and bottom. They look equal, right? So this, this row here and the bottom row of each of them look equal. So let's see if there's a pattern here. So if I, I look in figure one, there was two, two and two. Figure two is four and four. Figure three is six and six, right? So it looks like it's uh, adding two to each top and bottom or double of the figure number. So figure three, six and six, two is four and four, one is uh, two and two. So figure four then would should be eight and eight, right? So I should have eight of these squares there's four eight so there's eight of these squares in the top and bottom for figure four so this is what figure four would look like right so then it wants to know what about figure zero so let's work our way backwards figure zero if you think about it my my middle here was just dropping down uh, by one each time. And so figure zero, the middle piece for figure zero, so I'll draw figure zero, is just going to have one square in the middle, okay? And then what about the top and bottom piece? It was always adding by two each time or double. So if I added two, if I subtracted two to top and bottom, there'd be nothing left. So really it's just going to be one figure in the middle. That's it for figure zero. All right, so the other way to determine this, we could have done the pattern by looking at it, or there's always building a table, right? So building a table is always a nice way to determine your pattern, right? Knowing that your X is always your figure number and your Y is always the number of tiles in each figure. So um Figure one, for, we'll, we'll start with what we had, so that way I can show you the pattern to determine each of the others. Figure one, if I count that, there was six. Figure two, if I count it, I have four, three, and four, which is 11. Figure three is six, uh, four, and six, which is uh, 16. So I can see here this pattern is, is increasing by five each time. So I'm adding five each time, right? So that would tell me that in my figure zero, if I'm adding five, that should be a one because one plus five is six. And then figure four should have 21. And if I go back and count what I had, I had eight, eight, and five, which does add up to 21 tiles. So that confirms what my figure should look like and how many tiles I have, okay? So it wants to know how many tiles in figure 10 so here's the thing. We could continue my pattern and keep adding five each time until I get to figure 10. So I'd have to have a longer 
table, but eventually I, I'd get there. Or another way would be to create the rule, right? Remember all rules for these tile patterns are in this form of Y equals MX plus B. And M is always your growth. And B is always your figure zero or your initial value. So if I rewrite this equation with this information, I know the rule for my problem here is Y is equal to, well, the growth is what? It's adding five each time. So the growth is five. So I write Y equals five X because the M, this M represents the growth plus figure zero has got one tile. So that's the rule for this pattern. So if I want to know what is how many tiles in figure 10, figure 10, remember, is my figure number. So I put that X in place of that X there, put that 10 in place of that X. So I could just go five times 10 plus one, five times 10 is 50 plus one is 51. So how many will be in, so figure 10 has 51 tiles. And so my justification you could have used the table to justify, or in my case here, I use the rule to justify. Okay, there we go.